Hello, my fellow YouTube viewers. This is Steeler011 here on YouTube. Post my YouTube video of today, August 15th. There's a Sunday, 9.21 p.m. Eastern Time. East, East, East. And if you guys take these ads, say holla to your boy Steeler. Um, yeah. I'm only watching Locker's video because I'm like, I've been kind of bored. Just waiting for my Modern Warfare 2 game. I'm getting it back on Thursday. This Thursday. After waiting months since my PS3 got broken and then fixed. So I'm only watching a lot of this video because I want them to see that I'm actually watching a video. Just in case they're probably thinking, like, since I got something out of Redemption, I don't want them thinking I got the points legitimately, which I didn't. I, I've watched a shitload of videos. And basically, most times I watched them were triple points. Or the times five. Yeah, the times five, which we all remember. Even at one point when there was times five plus the times for re points. Which means, like, you got, like, 30 points per video. Like, if you watch, like, the 30-second videos, plus the ads, whatever, a minute or so, in five minutes, five minutes, you had 30 points. And that was good because that was before Locker's fucked up shop with the slider. Where now you go, like, before when I earned my game GDA, it was only 2,500 points. And now it's, like... 4,000, it was 4,700, like, where the 4,000 would be the whole way over. Now, if you probably go to 4,000, it's like, dun, 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 eh. sorry, not enough for us. We want 100,000 points for every shit, so you can't get anything for free. I'm like, okay, that's just stupid. And from that, they lost almost everybody that went to shop, everybody that bought some for shop, because most people bought it for free. So Lockers kind of screwed themselves over with that, but it's their fault, not anybody else's. They want to do what they want to do. So, let me see. Go check out the points, bubbles. A Halloween face my best. Well, I just filled out the CAPTCHA. Yeah, I only got four points, see? Because I'm a Z-lister. Yeah, I'm a Z-lister, baby. Yeah. But what I'm going to show you real quick is on shop. And I'll bring you there and wait for one second. In resuming the video, this is what I got from shop. Yeah. I bought this from shop. I even showed all of you. I bought it like early July when I still had the little point. See? Oh, don't they look alike? Yes, the one I got from lockers. Before when they did have the prices lowered for the retro. And it was at 2,500. Now 2,500 points will only get you like, I guess around there. All right. Yeah, around there. Will only get you like 32% off. It's like, oh my God, wow. And like 4,704 would have would have been, I guess there, 40% off. It's like, wait, how do you go from like 1,995 points? To be 30% off to 16,808 points being 60% off. And then, like, you even if you double that, like, it doesn't even make sense. This number makes no sense. They fucked up themselves so bad that if you go right here, like, normally, some things they don't put in stock on purpose. I'm guessing they want people to think, what the hell? I'm guessing they want people to think that they're actually selling crap when they're not. Like, early June and July, almost all this shit was sold out. Like, they they did not have these fresh, they did not even restock these in the shop. So don't even think these were fresh out. They only had, like, one PS3, so, yeah. Before, like, all this shit was sold out. There was probably only a few games left. Even these were sold out. Yeah, the only games that were probably left could be, like, $60 games. Even, like, if you go on Xbox. Xbox, right? Not my favorite console, but, yeah. You still want to take a look at that. Xbox, nothing, man, nothing. Madden 11, nothing? Wow. And it's double A, nothing. Not even the Xbox. Mm. 
Yeah, that means nothing has been sold out. That means Blockers is making no money whatsoever. They're screwing themselves over because most of their people that they have on the site are either teens or kids, and they're not allowed to use PayPal shit. And they're not getting anything from the redemption. Like, I got one thing from the redemption. I was happy. Like, right when I got in, I did go for the $75 PayPal, which I shouldn't have. I should have probably went for the $75 Amazon or something. But I did go with what for I wanted, and that was this baby right here. The Fandango, which I really did want, um, because I like to watch movies. But no, they're not getting anything now. See, let's go to movies. Like, they're trying to post, like, all this shit on the hallway saying, Oh, we got these great deals for kids who can't buy crap. Oh, we know you wanted to get them for free. But now you can't. Because we're screwballs. And we like to fuck with ourselves. Basically. <laughs> Wow, selling old movies. What a shocker. Hmm. Ah, that's one good movie. Wow, 2003 movie. For that much? Damn. All these movies that nobody buys. Wow. Oh, wow. Seriously, man. Scream of yourselves. What? You have a superhero theme now? You're gonna flame on or something? Well, that's all for now, man. Oh, yeah, I forgot to say, shop has gone international now, okay? Before, like, they said that over, like, like, June, July 24th. They were like, oh, shop's gone international. Oh, so we're going to fuck up the points. Um, I thought shop went international then, not now. Blocking, fucking up. Oh, yeah, and also, shop redemptions. Why are they hosting them so late? You want to know why? Because they want people to buy shit. What I think might happen is they might get rid of Redeem right here. The Redemption. Might boof. So everybody has to buy from Shop. Yeah, Shop. So you can get a special Redemption. Yeah. So you're going to have to buy some probably shit now to get into this, baby. Because you're not getting anything in this thing hardly. Because everything's freshed out. Well, that's it for now. It's a Steelers 011 saying goodbye to my fellow YouTube viewers.